It's Python on hardware time. All right. This week, and you can get this newsletter anytime, adafruitdaily.com. We don't spam. We don't uh, harvest your email address. We don't do anything like that. Um, so newsletter this week, lots of recaps of what's been going on. Floppy chat, what we just talked about. Um, Apple is removing Python 2 and Mac OS 12.3. This is actually kind of a big deal. Thank you so much. They've been shipping this forever. It's such a nightmare. And then we tell people, hey, use Python, and it's already there's a Python it 2 doesn't already work. in. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't work. And it's always like you have to update, and then everything's broken using Homebrew. I'm so glad they're going to move to Python 3. Hopefully yeah. three five. Hopefully they don't. Oh, at least right. I hope they don't like. Okay, it's three two. <laughs> we'll just skip to four. <laughs> um, and then uh, there's CircuitPython SDK for cloud data. You can check it out. This from uh, Glive. Um, the PyCast celebrates 10 years of Raspberry Pi. New episodes with Lamore, Eben, and more. That's coming up February 15th. So oh, not goodness. next week, the week oh, after. Yeah, really. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm scheduled. You're busy. I'm you're in, using ESP32 S2 and CircuitPython to teach web security. Hmm. Super important. And uh, CircuitPython show will be coming out pretty soon. Um, what's cool about that is we don't need to do it. It's a community-based show. Liz has a new MIDI guide with CircuitPython. And this week, the thing I wanted to talk about in the recap of recaps is uh, the big thank you. So we put the call out, CircuitPython 2022, Happy New Year. And uh, Scott has a summary post of all the things that people want to see in CircuitPython. It's a community-driven um, effort. So uh, that's this is how we get all the ideas. This is how we work together. And uh, what's cool is when you check back throughout the years, because we've been doing this for a while, you can see all the requests that came in. And then later on, you can see, oh, we did this one. We did this one. We did this one. Oh, we're working on this one. Oh, we worked with MicroPython on this one. So um, just a quick thanks. Cycle Match, Jeff, uh, Dexter, Kelly, Matt, Pierre, uh, Blake BR, Retired Wizard, uh, Mimas, John Hind, uh, me, <laughs> yeah. uh, Patrick, uh, Scott had some, Anne, Mark, Mark, Ken, Fummy Guy, Deshipu, MD Roberts, Tammy, Charlie, uh, Gutley Dog, and Katni. Go Katney. Little Dog. Yeah, Go Little, uh, oh, yeah, <laughs> Gutley Dog. I thought it was Gutley for a second. Uh, oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, it does look a little bit. It does look dog. like that. But it's like Go Little Dog. Go Little Dog. Go, um, go Pelican. Yeah, so. Uh, Check out all of these because they have uh, a lot of great suggestions. And this is, uh, like I said, how we get things done. So thank you. We do this every year. And now it's time to get to work and get these things into CircuitPython. We have over 250 boards. Most of them aren't even from Adafruit. So things are working out. Um, learning Python could be intimidating. Uh, doing electronics definitely is intimidating. But now you have the ability to do a little bit of both and get really far in the first you know, golden minute if you want to get that project going yeah and uh, easy to get going and there's always something more to learn so um, thank you everyone who participated this in this and uh, sent in their stuff and that is python on hardware news this week yeah blinka